Do not touch your phone. Right after today's tech update, we're diving into a must-hear call for my weekend Kim Commando show that you can get as a podcast. It's called Kim Commando Today. Car thieves are going high-tech all throughout the country. Instead of just picking out a car to break into at random, they're scanning cars looking for a certain wireless standard that tells them that there's expensive tech inside. Most of our electronics, from phones, AirPods, laptops, tablets, to headphones, all work with Bluetooth. That's the wireless signal that lets you go hands-free. It spreads from 3 to 33 feet from the device when activated. Car thieves know this, and they're using smartphone apps or $30 Bluetooth signal finders available on Amazon to scan cars admitting any Bluetooth signals. This way, even before breaking into a car, they know if there are expensive phones, laptops, tablets, earbuds, you name it, locked inside. So here's what you need to do to not become their next victim. Keep all your electronics with you, or at least be sure to turn them off. And get tech smart every single day with my free newsletter at getkim.com. As promised, I'm now bringing you a standout call from my weekend show. Sam in Oklahoma City. Hi there, Sam. Oh, hi. <laughs> Kim, how are you today? I'm great. What's going on? Okay, well, uh, number one. I want to let you know that I, I get to call it every day, and I love that thing. It's got a lot of good tips on it, and I recommend it to everybody. So That's awesome. That. Uh, you know what? Did, did you used to get our older newsletters? Yes, I did. Yes, okay, I did. so how do the old newsletters compare to the new one? I like the new one better. It's just it's very short. It it's, it's, uh, covers a lot of different topics. topics. Uh, you, you've got links to stuff if I need something more in depth so well i appreciate uh, that because you know they're and they're growing like gangbusters i'll tell you sam it's just <laughs> and i'm i'm so thrilled because it's you know i'm 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 spending a lot of time writing those newsletters every day and i keep <laughs> i keep like hoping that i'm going to find the best freelancer available but not yet so every word in there it's either written by me or actually ali has been helping a lot too over here too so um so what's going on how can i lend a hand Okay, well, I've got a, a question. I've got AT and T internet service, mm-hmm. and it's DSL. It comes on the phone line. Uh, they don't have power to my house yet. They've been advertising wireless, but I'm not sure I want to look at that yet. But I, they make you use a gateway that's provided by them because it has the modem and a router in it, and yep. they claim that they can't do diagnostics if you use something else. My question is. If I use, is it a way to use the the modem that's in the gateway they give me and buy an aftermarket router? Uh, yes, you can do that. Uh, it gets a little techy. It doesn't mean that you can't do it. Um, but what we don't want is to cause any network confusion and congestion. Because then what that happens is like the whole house of cards will come crumbling down and you're going to want to get your Kim Commando show newsletter and you're going to be like, I get right. the spinning wheel of death and I can't get out, I can't get in. And so okay. we don't want that to happen. So what we have is something uh, called bridge mode. And what bridge mode is going to do is going to separate the traffic from the two routers. Uh, so that this way, all the data isn't going to be confused on where it's going to go. And uh, so this way, it's going to go just to that right router. And that's what bridge mode does. Okay. okay. So so what you're going to do is put the modem router into bridge mode. You're basically, at that point, turning off the router functions in that device. So that this way, you can use your own router to manage all the traffic on the network so that everything will run super smoothly. Okay. Um, okay. to how to do that is a whole bunch of steps. And if I were to give those steps out right now, Sam, everybody would be like, oh, what a crappy show. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so we don't want a crappy show, do we? No. No, we don't. We don't no, want a crappy don't. show because then people turn off their radios, they stop listening to the podcast, and then the ratings go down, and then I'm going to have to move to Oklahoma City and move in with you. So. Okay. Well, we got a room. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't cook. I'm just telling you right now, and I'm not doing the laundry. It's not happening. We don't either. But my, wife, my wife loves to do the laundry. So oh, we'll be that's great. Okay, I might just come. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do: is I'm going to put you on hold, and we're going to send out a link uh, to you on how to enable bridge mode. Uh, again, it's not it's not terribly difficult. Just make sure that you follow the steps and don't do it when you're drinking. Make me that promise, Sam. Thank you for your call. 
Hey, thanks for hitting play today. You're awesome. If you have questions, shoot them my way. Head over to commando.com and look for that email Kim link. I read every single note like it's a hot off the press tech news alert. Hey, get ahead of the tech game too. Just sign up for my free daily newsletter. It's just a click away over at getkim.com. That's getkim.com.